Hi, I'm Michael Hudlin. I am an 18-year-old graduate of the University of the West Indies Certificate in Music, and I'm an aspiring composer. I compose classical music, in a sense. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, classical in a broad sense, but I prefer Baroque style of music, so the one of the earlier forms of classical music. So it's highly contrapuntal and has a lot of uh, a lot of overlapping of voices, uh, very grand and dramatic. Uh, the reason why I started composing those kind of, that kind of music is because for CSEC, I did CSEC music and you have to do a composition. And I was part of the Presentation College Mixed Choir. And they did a lot of classical music and I felt a deep appreciation for it. So I took a lot of the ideas that I, a lot of the experiences I gained from the choir. After hearing Vivaldi's Gloria, Haydn's The Heavens Are Telling, and Handel's Hallelujah Chorus, one of the staple pieces of Baroque music, um, I started composing my own Gloria. And that is where my, asper uh, my experience and my love for the composition and composing choral music began. Yes. Then eventually I showed my composition to one of my cousins who is who just graduated from SUNY Plattsburgh, who did music, and he told me that I should continue the composition and do an entire work. So I, I, I listened to him, but it, it didn't really click with me until I started li listening more to music. And I was on the beach with one of my friends, and that's where I got the idea to compose another part of the movement and so on. And that's how I ended up with uh, the entire work. I had about two of the compositions already. And the way how this kind of music works, you usually take one or uh, maybe one or two sentences and you repeat it over and over, but changing the musical idea. So the first movement was Gloria in Excelsis Deo et in Terra Pax Ominibus Bonae Voluntatis, which is Gloria, glory to God in the highest and peace to his people of goodwill. Um, then the second movement was the Laudamus Te. The third movement was Gracias Agibus Tibi. The fourth movement was Domine Deus. And the fifth movement, which the beach has to do with, I was on the beach with my friends, and one of my friends, Melissa, she drew a staff in the beach and randomly put an alto clef on it. And I, after she wrote, I came and put a time signature, and I wrote four notes on it. Da 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 da. Five notes. Right, five notes on it, and that stuck with me for the entire trip home. And I couldn't get it out of my head until I composed the entire, well, the entire movement for the work. Yes, I was always interested in classical music. Um, my fam. I grew up in a family that always does music. I grew up playing music in church. I grew up singing at home. My cousin, although, although it wasn't really classical, he used to sing, his styling would always lead towards that. And when I started secondary school and I transferred to Presentation College, that is where I actually felt the get that push into classical music because that's where I did the most amount of things in the Trinidad and Tobago Music Festival. And, uh, doing all those things. And I used to do piano as well. So piano classes would also have heavy classical music. And participating in the music festival and taking part in the festival and also winning a few trophies in the festival has given me that courage and that confidence that classical music is where I'd like to be. The concert is October 22nd at 7 p.m. at the National Academy for the Performing Arts Southern Campus. Yes, and this concert is to debut my compositions and arrangements. I did a composition for the music festival this year actually, and I won the class, best composition. So that would be one of the pieces, and then I'm doing the entire Gloria, which is about 15 minutes, not too long, and I will be doing some of the things that I did while I was in university as well. And I'm, getting some, I'm, I'm getting the university chorale to 
be the main feature of the, com the concert, as well as myself and some of my friends along the line. The name of the concert is A Breath of Fresh Air. So it leans towards the idea of this is completely new and this will, there, it's, oh, there's only going to have one version of it. The prophets are going to assist me with my studies. I am, although I haven't chosen a university yet, I am applying to a, a good amount of universities. And we know that university is not free or cheap. So, well, because I'm planning to study away. And I, this is to assist my tuition and expenses, whatever needs to happen. This is what it's going to be for. Um, I am from, I live in Vista Bella currently. I live part of my life in Gasparillo. So I went to school in Gasparillo for about four years. Then I transferred to another primary school in San Fernando, San Fernando Boys uh, Government, San Fernando Boys Government. That is actually where I started performing. That's where I, my music teacher put me in to sing in Calypso. And I, I won a hat-trick while my three years in the primary school. Um, then I passed for St. Benedict's College and I worked there with Miss, Miss Walters and Mr. Samai. And I did, I did participate in the festival there as well, but I didn't make it too far in the festival. Then I transferred to Presentation College, which is where I did most of my music. I worked for, with Mr. Lockhart and Mrs. Limak and Mr. Limak from Form 3 to Form 5. Then at Form 5, that is where I did CSEC music and I came first in the Caribbean in 2014. And then I went to UE and did a two-year certificate in music and I am waiting my graduation and awaiting my graduation. The dream is to be a musical director, yes. I love I loved musical direction. It's, it's the part of music where you get to shape and create what your vision for the music is. Although a composer has its intention for his or her intention for their music, a musical director's job is to realize that intention, create that intention, and also go beyond that intention. So, me as a music, I as a musical director would love to share what my personal experience with their composition is. And also me as a composer would love other people to do that with my music because I don't expect one to take my music and perform it as is. I expect you to lift the music off the paper. And that is what my goal is to be as a musical director. Also, I am, I am a musical director with Chandelier Productions and they are the company that is producing the show. Although I am deep in music currently, I dreaded going to music classes. I used to run away, I used to hide. It would take my mother multiple, mul very, very strict and stern warnings for me to reach my music classes. But eventually, when I realized that I can actually do something with this and that this is what I love. I wake up at my, the reason why I started classes is because I used to wake up in the morning before everyone. This is me at five, six, seven years. I'd wake up in the morning before everyone, go on the piano and I'd play whatever I heard my dad play. I would, pre I would sus press the suspend pedal and I would play everything my dad played, which was about three or four songs. But I knew it in three different keys, so I'd play it in the three different keys and until everybody, someone comes up, comes outside to stop me from playing the piano. But um, so that may be my OMG moment, realizing that this is something that I want to do. This is something that is my life, that I wake up in the morning and this is the first thing that happens. So look out, it's happening, a breath of fresh air, October 22nd at the National Academy for Performing Arts Southern Campus. Yeah.